Welcome to this War Games Delivered tutorial for Bolt Action Band of Brothers. I'll be showing you how to paint the Pack 36 half track vehicle that comes in the box, and I'll be using the War Games Delivered Mega Paint Set to do so. So sit back and get ready to follow along. So, when it comes to the Pack 36 half track, I've built it in sub assembly, so I wanted to show you those before we get started. So, here's the main body of the half track, and I've sprayed everything with necrotic flesh because uh, that's a really nice base to give us the colour we want. So I've left off both uh, tracks, uh, just like that, and the, the main gun as well, because it's easier to paint the tracks uh, when they're off the vehicle than when they're on. Um, so that's the sub-assemblies, let's get to painting. First thing we'll do is paint the tyres, and the colour I'm using for this is Hardened Carapace, which is not a... Uh, it's a very dark grey, it's not black. And any mistakes you make, like I just made there, once you've got the coverage down, you can just go back over it with some uh, necrotic flesh to get that, that colour back. So this hardened carapace, like I said, is very dark grey. And obviously we'll shade everything later as well, and that'll give us a really nice effect. It'll help tie all of the model together as well, which is really, uh, really key. Um, because we're going to paint everything, and then we're going to come back and shade it uh, Shaded after we've painted everything. We're not going to do any sort of shades in between. So just get all those tyres painted. Make sure you do the insides as well. And then when we come back, uh, we will move on to the next colour, which we'll probably get a metallics done after that. Next up, we'll move on to some of the silver parts. So this includes the uh, the tracks, so the half track elements. The colour I'm using is gunmetal. And really, this is just a case of getting it on and... and getting a nice layer of that silver paint uh, and working it into those those recesses which is going to take uh, take a little bit of time but uh, it's worth it. You can use a fairly big size brush for this as well so you don't have to worry about using a small brush. Uh, just be careful with the wheels because obviously we can go back in and repair them uh, or rather sorry uh, redo that necrotic flesh colour but if we don't have to then it just makes life that little bit easier. So as well as things like uh, the tracks, we've also got uh, elements such as the uh, the rear uh, machine gun here. Uh, we'll leave the stand in the necrotic flesh colour, but we'll paint the, the rest of it with uh, the gun metal and this aerial as well, for example. So if you're not 100% sure, you can always check the box art, but then work your way around. Once that's done, um, we will come back and we'll have a little look at the uh, the next colour. So we'll probably do the tarp on the side next. For the tarp, we'll use uh, Drake Tooth. I just want to paint this all over. So it's going to cover okay, but you're going to need to do two coats. Uh, don't worry if you spill any on those straps. We'll do those next as well. Just paint that Drake Tooth on. Nice and easy, nice and simple like that. And then, like I say, once it's dry, we'll put a second coat on just to get that coverage. And then that's kind of lots of the little bits done. We'll kind of come back and work on the bodywork uh, next. Actually, before we go back and do the uh, main bodywork, we'll just finish these straps. Uh, so the colour I'm using is leather brown. This is nice and easy and nice and straightforward. Just painting those straps, being careful. And we, like I said at the start, we are going to shade all of this at the same time. Um, so we'll do some work on the body next and then we'll uh, start the shading. We'll do quite a lot of shading uh, before we come back in and pick up uh, any areas with it, uh, that we need to highlight. We want to just change the tone a little bit in some of the raised areas. So I'm using a, a dry brush. And the colour I'm using is Skeleton Bone. And you can start to see it's lightening uh, that portion of the vehicle. So we're just going to use this all the way across. Uh, being careful, of course, where we've finished anything. And this will just give us a nice more sort of buff colour on the main surface. Uh, and then once we've kind of got that done and we're happy with it, and it, it's if it's blotchy and splotchy, that's fine. Um, because we want that kind of different tonality in there once we're happy and we've got that sorted uh, we'll come back and we'll add on uh, we'll do the fuel cans the jerry cans first uh, and then we'll add on the camouflage pattern next i'm going to use a smaller dry brush on the wheels 
uh, and on the tracks. For these jerry cans, we'll paint them army green, which is uh, we don't want to, they won't stand out too much against the background underneath. But once we build up a nice solid coat over uh, two two coverages here, we'll get. Uh, We'll get a nice effect. So just get that done and build up a nice, uh, nice solid coat of army green, uh, and then we're ready for all the patterning. So we'll start to build up that camo scheme, and the colour we're using for the, the the brown element is fur brown. And really, what we're trying to do is just paint on some splodge marks with this, and we're going to cover the entirety of the. Uh, of the body we want to be fairly random with it as well because the camouflage wouldn't have been um, uniform at all so don't worry too much about um, the shape just try and keep it fairly fairly small and obviously with the gaps as well we are going to fill those gaps in with a green color uh, after this so all we're doing is just working our way around with the brown to start with and of course don't forget that we've also got the the gun uh, protector uh, blast shield as well that we will want to do so it's nice and easy and straightforward and this is one of those things that uh, you should just relax in it and enjoy as, as you paint these on and once we've got all that painted we'll come back and we'll do the green color next with that brown down we need to add the green and the color we're going to use is goblin green so again, similar kind of thing, just painting on little patterns in between all the brown bits. Don't worry too much if it's you know two green bits together. We just need to work our way around and get that painted all over the model. So take your time. Like I said, this is one of the things that does take a little bit of time, but it should be something that, that you enjoy because it's fairly unique, so nice and easy. So the next thing we'll do is shade all of this. Now we're going to use strong tone, but I don't want to use it totally neat out of the pot. So what I've done is I've taken some uh, quick shade mixing medium, which is kind of a, it looks white, but it'll mix in nicely. And this will really thin that down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this over all of the model. So the wrap, the size, and you can see there that it just kind of lightly darkens down uh, the model and I'm going to paint this all over but I'm going to do it a panel at a time and the reason I'm doing this and the reason I've kind of diluted it thinned it down is because I want to gradually build up uh, the kind of the colour that I put on here because um, we want to do a little bit of weathering we want to make sure this gets into all those recesses as well so just work it around uh, like that and you can see there you've got a nice kind of transition and a dirty uh, look there which which is nice and, and once we've finished it for the first time we'll let it dry and then we'll come back and I'll show you how it looks like and I'll show you the next step because we're going to add a second layer of this on but we're going to be a little more focused with it. Once that first coat is dry we're going to pop a second coat on but this time we're going to focus just on the kind of the bottom uh, of the armour panels. I've left all this bit um, blank and what I'm going to do with that I'm going to put pure um, strong tone in there so with this now I'm just again just focusing on the bottom part of the panel like that so you can just build up that uh, coloration if you find uh, like I've got there that it's a little um, a little too thick then you can just clean your brush off and just feather out that edge uh, and that'll just help it blend uh, a bit better. So I'm going to go all the way around again, just adding this into those lower areas, uh, just darkening up some of the colours. And then once that's done, I think we would be pretty happy with how it looks on the armour. And we'll move on to adding some more depth using some of the other uh, tones we've got available to us. So we're building up some nice effects now. We just want to enhance that weathering a little bit so we're going to strong tone and this is pure strong tone what I'm going to do is I'm going to stipple this around the lower areas and this will just build up some additional dirt now it may seem a little uh, 
what's the word glossy a little shiny we'll dull it all down with a matte varnish at the end but uh, just adding this in and I'm not being too shy with it I'm just building it up around these uh, areas there and what's key to do is make sure you brush it right down into that bottom part there well, the viscosity of the wash will make it difficult to sit there so just play around with it and make sure you build it up and we'll build it all the way around as well so you can see I've already kind of finished on the back there uh, and pop it into the bottom of the uh, the wheels as well just stippling it in which is a just a stabbing motion I best use older brushes for this I'm not following my own instruction by just using this one uh, and also on the tires as well because we'll give them a, a brown hue so there we are once that's done and do it all over uh, we'll come back and we'll have a look at just finishing off with some additional weathering maybe putting some oil streaks some grime uh, over it and I'll show you how we use the um, just normal paints not nothing special just going to use the normal paints to do that uh, and then we'll see if we need to have a look at doing any uh, additional highlighting um, and then we've just got a few more bits after that to do and we're uh, we're done next up we'll add some streaks and some grime so the color we're going to use for this is dark tone and if we have a look at where perhaps we'll see this we'll maybe we've got the engine cover here so we can just add some definition by painting inside that uh, the doors to the engine cover and we can also then just if we want to say here for example just see a little bit of grime streaking down just a nice thin line of the dark tone we do that on varying lengths along here the other thing whilst we've got the dark tone out as well is we want to take any uh, silver areas so we've got the kind of the headlight there but the rear m42 machine gun and the aerial just want to give them a, a paint as well because it'll just help differentiate that silver and similarly as well where we've got the uh, the tracks so those wheels are done exactly the same as the rest of the vehicle but with these tracks we just want to paint that strong tone into the um that front bit there which is going to be the bit that you'll see obviously the back bit is is going to be hidden by the uh, by the vehicle and the arches so there's no need to do that so we'll just do this bit here and again it's just adding a nice differential uh, or differentiation in tone to the model um, which will uh, help it stand out and look good on the tabletop as well so we've just got a few more bits uh, to do and then we'll do a little bit of highlighting not too much on, on the vehicle so the first thing I do is take some matte black and use that to paint these uh, I imagine them to be leather um, cushions on the inside just a little bit of comfort on your way into battle maybe we'll paint them black and then once we come back we'll just add a little bit of a highlight on there um, just to kind of simulate scratches because obviously I don't expect it to be um, pristine leather on there so it's nice easy you can get this done in one coat with the matte black it's quite a nice paint and uh, we'll come back and add those scratches next take some ash grey to highlight the black leather which is a much brighter colour than the black uh, and but what we're looking to do is looking to just stipple it along the edges and just put scuffs in like that where the Obviously equipment might drag and catch and as you can see it looks very messy and that's by design. So do that over all of the leather bits, then we'll come back in and we'll pop a shade over it and that will really just help us to tie things together and blend it in with the kind of the rest of the model. And to finish it off, just take a fairly liberal helping of strong tone and just brush it over those seats and as it dries it'll just help them blend in a little bit it doesn't matter if it's been too messy if you think it's too messy and you want to tidy it up you can always go back in with some of that matte black over it uh, just to refine a little bit but I'm okay with that like that so let that dry 
uh, we'll just finish up highlighting now we'll highlight the cans and the uh, the bedroll or the the tarp there and uh, when we're done just to highlight the fuel cans we're going to take some army green we're just going to again stipple this around the cans because they will be kind of chipped and damaged i've got a little bit too much of my brush there so i'm just going to clean that off a little bit um and again it's just a stippling effect around the edges that gives the impression of worn paint that's what uh, we'll get nothing is going to be pristine in this kind of environment so anyway and as that dries you'll see it'll kind of come together quite nicely so that's that done we'll do the uh we'll do the bedroll next uh, sorry the tarp next i think we'll we're done then so we'll build it and we'll have a look at it on the turntable with the tarp we'll go back to the original color uh, which is draped earth and we're just looking to pick out kind of some of those raised areas now i've thinned this with a little bit of water make sure i haven't got too much on my brush and you'll see it just flows much nicer that way but it's also thin there so it'll start to kind of take on the colour that we've got underneath so it'll just as it dries it'll darken and it may be that you need to use a little extra coat just to get the uh, full kind of bright effect of the the drake tooth paint as well so you may find that actually when it dries you're happy with how it looks it looks a bit dirty and a little bit you know used which is absolutely fine it's entirely up to you at this point so get that then uh, and then we'll have a little look at it uh, on the turntable. One thing I totally forgot is to add the matte varnish. So make sure everything's totally dry. And then just put a nice thin coat of the anti-shine matte varnish over that you get in the box. And as this dries then it'll start to dull down everything. It'll blend everything together quite nicely. Try not to um, have too much of it collecting in recesses. Because that might mean it, or it may dry a little bit uh, Bit white which means you've got to go back in and finish uh, the paint job again so just paint that all over uh, all elements of the of the car you can see there that uh, that's what I mean by putting too much in one place so just take it out and spread it around a little bit uh, the brush will suck it up no problem so there we are get that done and we will build it and then we'll have a look at it on the turntable next and uh, we've got a nice little, very easy, straightforward half-track vehicle. And there we have it. This Pack 36 is done and ready for the Bolt Action Battlefield. Make sure you check out all of our other tutorials so that you know how to paint the whole box. We're also going to give away one Band of Brothers set to a lucky winner. You have just two days to enter from the release date of this video, so make sure you do so using the link in the description. Remember to check out War Games Delivered for all your wargaming and hobby needs. Our link is below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.